Okay everybody, uh, welcome to today's class. Uh, today with me I've got Chloe and we're going to be doing a mock test. So, Chloe, um, have you got any concerns about your test? Because it's tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah. If it was going to go wrong, what what might you stumble on? It, if there was anything at all? It would probably be hesitation. Hesitation, hesitation okay. Hesitation, yeah. Because you've been practicing with your parents as well. Yeah. Uh, what kind of things happen that cause hesitation for you? It'll probably be when it's you know busy roads and there's a lot of traffic. Oh. Are we talking about junctions like yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll keep my eye on those. Maybe we'll focus a little bit on that. Yeah. Um, where that is concerned today. Um, if that occurs more than, shall we say, if that occurs more than twice, we'll stop what we're doing and then yeah. we'll work on that. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what happens. Are you feeling good about your manoeuvres and everything? I feel like not? it's pretty good at the moment. Okay, cool. It probably needs a bit of touching up. Which one's that? Um, it'll uh, probably be the reverse by parking. Okay. Or all maybe right. some parallel parking as well. Okay, we can throw a few of those in yep. as well then. All right. Yeah. All good then. Good I'll make up a route today, and yep. I'm going to throw as much at you as I can. Okay. I'm going to be, f I'm going to be fair and unfair. I'm, I'm going to do it as much as I can just to really yeah. stretch you out. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Today is going to be the test from hell. Tomorrow will be easy, I promise. <laughs> All right. So when you're ready, start the engine and we'll follow the road down there. So that would normally be left out of the test centre. Okay. I will remind you that's a national speed limit road. So okay. be very careful when you pull okay. onto it. One little thing I noticed when I asked you to turn left. Yeah. Which mirrors did you check today? Tell me what you did exactly. Turning left. Yeah, I said pull up on the left in a safe place. Oh, I managed that one, didn't I? No, you you actually checked the two mirrors I was interested in. Oh, but okay. It was really interesting. I don't know if you're aware. You checked your internal mirror, put the left signal on, and then checked the left mirror. Okay. Yeah. Do you know why that could could be a problem? Well, if there's a bicycle or a pedestrian. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So do your checks. Okay. And, and then tell everyone what you're gonna do. Okay. All right. Cool. Drive on when you're ready.
Yes. Okay. What do we think about that one? I think it's pretty good. Okay. Yes. Would they have that person on the drive? Would they have any problem getting out? Do you think? Possibly. I think they'll be okay getting off the driveway. It's just. Oh, people looking. doing a sharp left yeah, getting yeah. on. Okay. Have we got any other alternatives where we could have gone that uh, might have been easier? There. Okay, and if you'd have done that, do you think it would have? Do you think you'd have clicked the curb? Because I noticed. What? Well, you tell me. Why do you think you clicked the curb slightly when you were pulling over? Just. I've got my own idea, but I'm interested to know what you think. Okay. What did you need to do to get the car in all of a sudden? Had to turn the wheel a lot, a lot yeah, didn't you? Yeah. Now the wheels, instead of it turning in a little bit and guiding the car in gently, yeah. all of a sudden you had to do a kamikaze yeah. towards the curb, yeah. didn't you? Misjudged it slightly, not it wasn't the end of the world, yeah. clicked it a little bit but then straight and it was nice actually, you did have the foresight to check behind you before you started reversing the car back. So I'm a bit I'm a bit like that about clipping the curb because you know, you know, if there was a pedestrian there, yeah. not ideal, okay. but it wasn't the end of the world, you just sort of nudged it rather okay. than hit it hard. Um, so yeah, I, I think maybe yeah, you could have gone behind yeah. that one, that might have been better. So it, it is something, when, when, when you're asked to do something, don't rush and think, oh my god, I've got to do it now, I've got to yeah, do it now. Yeah. Just think, okay, let's have a look, let's, okay. let's find out. And if you can't immediately spot anything, just say, I can't find a suitable location at the moment. Okay. That's absolutely fine. Okay. Right. Drive on when you're ready. I'm trying to rush you at the moment, I'm trying to put into pressure. I'm just going to check the front of the car because I'm okay. not familiar with this vehicle. I'll just give you a moment. Yeah, we're good. good. We are behind the line, that's absolutely fine. I don't know if you're aware, there's quite a lot of space behind you as well. Okay. So you could go deeper into the okay. into the bay. If you if you if you want to open the door and poke your head out, you can actually see there's perhaps a metre and a half behind you. Oh, so yeah. You could yeah, actually, so I've got a lot of yeah, if you wanted to, and if an examiner says to you, are you finished, 
you could, you know, that just might be a lifeline. He might think, mm, I'm not sure if you're in deep enough here. So just you, have a little look and then... Yeah, just say, I'm going to check. Okay. I'm going to open the door and stick your head out and have a look. Okay. All right. Yeah. So sometimes they offer lifelines to you. They'll say, are you finished? That sometimes is a hint that maybe you need to check something. But for, for me today, that, that's fine. You've got space behind you, but this is a little car, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. This is a 500 feet. Yeah. Uh, so that's, that's fine. I'm just going to okay. put my belt on. I'm happy with that. Yeah. You, uh, you made an adjustment, um, which was fine. Do the adjustment. You did look behind you. It was very, very brief. Okay. Can you just slow down that look behind you? I want, I want no doubt in the examiner's mind that you did in fact look behind you. Okay. You went quick, 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 quick like that. Okay. Really quick. Okay. Um, now you, you know, they might think, yeah, that's fine, but I don't want any doubt yeah, in their mind. Yeah. Yeah. We know it's quiet here as well, yeah. but uh, they've got half an hour to a session. Mm. All right, so when you're ready, we'll make our way out of the um, out of the car park and we'll turn left towards the traffic lights, please. Okay. Time as well, so it's pretty busy. Yeah, uh, good for you. Yeah, because what I can't teach you is experience. Yeah, we're, we're together for a very short amount of time, yeah. but there's all sorts of things that can happen at different oh, times definitely. of the day. Have you had any scary moments when you've been out with your parents? Um, not really. No, not really. Good. I mean, last week when I think it was last week or the week before when we, was at a, we had a lesson. And we encountered a pretty lot of scary stuff, you know. We did, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Frustrating, we can't find any of that. I know, I know. <laughs> Sometimes an examiner might say, there's two roundabouts coming up quite close together and I want you to go right at both of them. If you're going down a dual carriageway, be in the right lane on the approach for like, the first roundabout, yeah. it's come off in the right hand lane for roundabout number two, so you, you're all set up ready for it. Yeah. That's okay. Follow the road ahead at the roundabout, please.
again, I deliberately rushed you. Yeah. Okay, well done. What we're gonna do, if it's alright with you, I'm just gonna position that box so it isn't flying. So I'm gonna put the box on my lap. Oh, that's fine. Because what I'm gonna ask you to do now is the emergency stop exercise, okay? Oh, I haven't done that in a while. Yeah, that's why we're testing it. So I'd like you just to drive off normally down the road. Uh, right, so I think clutch. Yeah, at some point I'm going to say to you, stop and I'm going to put my arm out like that. Okay? Yeah. And I just want you to stop the car as though it was an emergency, as though someone uh, had stepped out into the road and you need to okay. bring the car to a stop. Remember, we want a violent stop. You've got yeah. to feel your back yeah. come off the seat. Yeah. Uh, don't try to brake nicely. Okay. We're saving a life. Right. Okay. So, yeah, when you're ready. Sides, the cyclist can come around you on either side, decide if you need a signal and then drive away. So we'll do that one again, I yeah. want it a little bit further, a little yeah. bit sharper. Can you imagine it's your boyfriend stepping out front of the car yeah, and then okay. stop with me. Yeah. So I'll give you a countdown so you're ready for it, okay? Three, two, one, stop. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do it again in a bit, alright. I'll just let that settle in and then we'll do it again in a bit. I'll give you a warning about okay. it, alright? Yeah, that's fine. Well, we're gonna go down there, we're gonna do um, a reverse park and parallel park since we're last one. Examiner's going to say to you, pull alongside this car, stop, and then reverse the car back, round the back of that car towards the curb, finishing parallel and reasonably close to the curb, and complete the whole manoeuvre within the space of two car lengths. Have you got any questions? No. Nope. Okay, when you're ready then. Right, was good it was good you know you, you would have picked up one minor driving fault I shouldn't call it a minor fault they, they've stopped calling things minor faults it's a driving fault okay. the only reason why was because if this is the car and that's us the car was coming in like that all you had to do was go a little bit more and it would have been perfect okay but you went like that and then you you put the car into forward gear and you went like that okay to see the yeah, difference. I'll see what you mean. Yeah, but I mean, if you think, oh, I don't know, I'm not getting close to the curb, I'd rather you do what you just yeah. did. So if you if you want to play safe, do what you just did. Okay. All right. Don't yep. worry at all about it. That's not a problem. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm very pleased with that. Observations were were smack on. Uh, you didn't touch the curb. 
uh, you're nice and tight, you're definitely within two car lengths, you could even have a jumbo jet behind you <laughs> and you'd still be okay. Uh, I'm really pleased. So we'll finish off then with one more okay. emergency stop, all right? Okay. So what I want you to do is go to the end of the road, we'll turn left, I'll check what's going on behind us before I make the decision okay. whether or not to go ahead with it, all right? Okay. So drive on when you're ready. Let's do a debrief then, so how did it go overall, what was you happy with, what, what do you need to work on or remember, how do you feel? I feel that probably getting a bit better with moving off from busy roads, I feel like hesitation isn't as bad. Um, Why wasn't it as bad? I feel like 
I feel like the reason why I'm so hesitant is when I kind of stop. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not I'm not slowing, going slow to okay. junction, if you know what I mean. Right, okay. I'm going quite slow. So you've just told me the, the solution now, haven't you? What is, what, what is your plan from now on? I was going slower towards the junction and not putting it in gear till I get there. Because okay. sometimes I can pull off in second yes. and go a lot faster. Right, was you pre-empting it before and going and thinking I'm going to be stopping so I'm going to yeah, use first? Yeah, yeah. That can be a problem, can't it? Because yeah. if you do see the gap to go and you're in first gear, what could go wrong then? Storming. Do you think you would? Are, are we talking about you coming towards the junction at, say, 15 mile an hour, 20 mile an hour, you've already got it in first gear ready, you see a gap, if you lift that clutch up, what could go wrong, seriously wrong, if, if you're still moving at about it's, it's 15... It's not in the right gear, is it? You, that's correct. What could go wrong, though, as a result of you lifting the clutch up? Uh. Have you ever had the situation where you put it in first gear, the car's moving a little bit too fast for first gear, you lift the oh, clutch up, the car like... just like that, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. So what is that? What causes the car to do that? Apart from getting hit from behind. Any idea? Uh. It's massive amounts of engine braking. Okay. The problem is with that, as well as it being really uncomfortable, if there's someone behind you and the car brakes hard yeah. and there's no brake lights warning yeah, them even, yeah. what can do then? So yeah, what we want to avoid that. Yeah. We want to slow the car down, get the clutch down. Yep. It's called a controlled coast. We're slowing the car down, varying the pressure on the brake choose a gear when you get there but of course all this relies on good planning ahead you're looking thinking to yourself oh, there's two vehicles there if I get there a little bit later they'll both be out of the way yeah. and I can keep the car going in second yeah. or something like that so that's good what else have you learnt or discovered today think about your emergency stop for example yeah well I've discovered to put your brake down first before the foot Okay. That, that's, I think that's what I did firstly. I kind of put my foot on the clutch first mm -hmm. and then the brake okay. without realising. Okay. Which is why it didn't brake faster. Right, so yeah. So that was one mistake you, that I you, made. So why why does that happen? Why does it take longer to stop the car if you put your clutch down first? Well, your brake's more important, isn't it? The brake stop on the car. Well, when you use the brake pedal and the clutch is up, you have the brakes working with the engine. Do you remember yeah. we talked a minute ago, we talked about engine braking. Yeah. Engine braking doesn't happen if the clutch is down. So you, yeah. in effect, if you're using your brake first without the clutch, you've almost got like twice as much braking yeah. going on because the engine's helping you as well. Yeah. Of course, it won't be very long before you have to slam that brake down, very, uh, the clutch down very, very quickly as well. Or she will come to us uh, a stalling situation. Yeah, so brake hard, clutch down, and it really depends on how fast we're going, doesn't it? And in yeah. what gear. If you're only going slow at 10 miles an hour in second gear, it might be you need to put them both down together at the same time as you might stall. Yeah. So there's a there's quite a bit going on there. Anything else? What else did we think of or we'll see today? Um, I need just need to improve my mirror checks. That's one. Mirrors are pretty good. I did just notice just, the one occasion yeah, when you went mirror where, signal mirror. Yeah, there is some points that it's a bit. Okay. Um, manoeuvres, how are you feeling about those? I'm pretty confident with manoeuvres at the moment. Okay. Um, I think you've got yeah. a good chance tomorrow. I do. Um, I didn't make it easy. I rushed you up here and there deliberately to see what would happen. And don't feel rushed. I like the way you dealt with the last stop at the road. It's a clever one when you're ready. And you just took your time a little bit. And here you adjusted it. Just remember though, if you have come to a stop, check just have a quick before, check be yeah. before you think, oh, yeah. just pull it forward a bit. Because yeah. you never know, someone might be coming up on the left on a bike. Yeah. Someone might be coming round you and decide they want to pull in as yeah. well. And if you haven't looked, you've yeah. come forward. So that's it. Um, anything else? Um, I can't 
think of anything. I won't be with you tomorrow, will I? No. So tomorrow, get to that test centre 10 minutes early. Don't get there too early because they will moan at you. To just 10 minutes before your test. Okay. Make sure you've got your driver's licence in your pocket. Okay. Make sure, double check that. Um, any questions, concerns, anything at all, just give me a call. Okay. All right. Right, gang, that's it for this class. Uh, I'd be really interested in hearing your questions and comments down below there. Uh, and, of course, we'll let you know how how Chloe gets on tomorrow. I'm really, really excited for her. Catch you later.